everybody, this is uh, Jim at FreeChartVideos.com. I'm using time-honored techniques to understand modern markets. This uh, video is for educational purposes only, and it is not intended to be used as any form of investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own due diligence and make investment decisions that are suitable for your financial situation. I have no way of knowing what that is, and even if I did, I'm not a licensed professional, so I don't have any business giving you advice. I'm just a guy that draws lines on charts. So, let's look at the S&P. We're going to start um, <clears throat> with a two-hour chart. That means we are looking at uh, each candle being two hours uh, of trading. And after I get these lines back to where they're supposed to be, when I go back and forth from different time frames, these lines move around a little bit. <clears throat> that aside, today did almost exactly what I, what I thought was going to happen, but we're going to take a look at it in greater detail. But I just want to remind you, here's our inverse head and shoulders. Our target is uh, roughly the uh, mid 1420s to as high as 1430 or even 1432. And um, what I think has happened is when we st started, uh, when we had this breakout and we started our pullback, this pullback just had more work to do. And I still think that it is doing it in the form of what is and what should be soon proved to be a bull flag and here's the bull flag right here defined by these red lines here's your resistance here's your support uh, bounced <clears throat> very well on support um, midweek and hit resistance today but I think we're gonna take that line out and I'm gonna tell you why I think that Let's move into a 15-minute uh, view. And that is why I think it's going to go. Um, because we have a pretty clear little inverse head and shoulders pattern down in this, uh, down in this channel. And if that pattern does what it's supposed to do, and they don't always... But if it does what it's supposed to do, then, uh, then the S&P should be getting up to about 1340. Of course, that would, uh, would mean two things. Again, let's uh, back off from this a little bit. If we get above 1340, that means we will have gotten above this green line yet again. That green line being the line drawn from the... Um, 1344 top over the right side of the head rally. Okay, remember we this is technically the neckline right here, but it it appeared to me that the neckline really was not being respected at all. So I opted instead to use this line and you can see here where it's it's produced more uh, support and and also some resistance. So, we still need to keep both of these in mind. But here's the deal. Um, if this small inverse head and shoulders does its thing and follows through, then that should set uh, a new leg in motion. And, uh, and we should for sure get out of this uh, descending channel, which, uh, by the way, not a great deal of uh, of wedge to it, but it's you know it's it's a little constricting. I think we could you know do this, and I I, I don't know. I, I'm not really that that's it's not like we're we're in a really super defined wedge, but I'll show you something that's kind of interesting. If we zoom in on this pattern a little bit, and let's get rid of this line. There's actually. Um, there's actually kind of a wedge hidden in all of this. Let me see if I can find it. Where was it?
Yeah, I think that was it. Now, I don't really recommend necessarily looking for things inside of things like this. But if, if you see what I mean, it's like it's like we get out of this and then we get back. We get stay under it, try it, get over it for a little bit. Nope, we're back in it. Up, oh, we can't quite get out of it. Now we're out of it again. So it's like our strong rallies are taking us over this line. And then we're getting uh, taken back down. So that's for what it's worth. I, I, I think that's... Uh, you know, these are the lines that are important. I just wanted to point that out to you. So uh, what I think will happen is uh, next week we should get over this line. And if we do, then we will set up a run uh, to uh, the probably about 1350 or so to see if we can get over this purple line. Now the question is, since that purple line has really been just kind of run over it uh, almost at will, will it run over it again going up or will it pause there? for uh, resistance. Finally, I want to show you that today's action in, in terms of this little inverse head and shoulders, uh, it broke out, came back, and that, that uh, end of the day, near the end of the day weakness, um, pretty much back tested that line. So it looks to me like, like this pattern is uh, pretty pretty well confirmed. It is small. It's only about four days old, but uh, I believe it's going to set us in motion to go uh, test uh, this this purple line once again. And if we get over that, then I think we go to test that 1370. And um, and if you're a bull, hopefully that means we also are going to see the fruits of this pattern right here play out. And, uh, and make a serious run for the low 1400s. I also want to take a quick look at the uh, Russell um, small caps. And what I want you to see here is um, it looks to me like the Russell has made a, a much more clearly defined pennant, um, kind of a wedge, and that broke out. I believe it broke out yesterday, and it stayed above that today. Uh, but the Russell's kind of interesting. It's got this uh, what kind of looks like a a regular head and shoulders. But you know what? I'm not what I'm not real. What's a good way to put this? What I'm not real impressed with in this is that there's a lack of symmetry. There is a little head and shoulders right here boom that's pretty clear and that was fulfilled uh, its target on this bounce level at around 810 but uh, gotta watch the Russell but it, it looks to me like um, this may be a wedge that uh, that is setting the Russell up uh, for some more gains and certainly that would make sense uh, with what what's going on in in some of the other indexes because the Russell was really kind of the odd man out uh, for a while I saw this as being the weakest uh, of, of of the four major indexes uh, the S&P uh, Dow and uh, NASDAQ so heck while we're at it let's take a quick look at the Dow and the NASDAQ well you can see here that um, that the Dow is in almost the exact same uh, position as the NASDAQ, the only difference being that um, I don't really quite see the same pattern down here in this bottom area as I do in the, um, in the S&P. So if we draw a neckline here, we got over it, but then couldn't stay over it. Still, it looks to me like we are in that descending a uh, little pattern there that should and will likely play out as uh, is that uh, bull flag scenario. Let's look at the NASDAQ. A little variation here <clears throat> in that the uh, NASDAQ is actually over its green line and uh, is also over mm, roughly that same red line and this looks a little bit more like a wedge here. So uh, NASDAQ actually looks a little stronger in relation to this pennant. 
And um, so there you have it. That is the uh, S&P update with friends, uh, being the NASDAQ now and Russell. And uh, look, I appreciate you checking this video out. Um, let's just keep our eyes on the markets. I'm, I'm looking for uh, more str I'm looking for strength next week. So uh, let's see if we get it when uh, when trading resumes on Tuesday. In the meantime, uh, I've done a video for those who uh, like to support the site with a uh, small donation. The details are at freechartvideos.com, and uh, just uh, check it out and uh, and take care. Look for a new video on Tuesday.